The destruction Hurricane Helene caused is still coming into focus. The death toll in the southeast continues to climb, and the North Carolina governor predicts it will worsen as rescuers reach isolated areas. Fox 5's Duarte Geraldino is live with us in the studio right now with a look at what is being done to help these devastated communities tonight. Duarte. Well, right now, hundreds of thousands of people don't have basic necessities. Authorities are searching for missing people along that path of destruction. And so far, they are confirming across all five states, 90 people have died. In North Carolina, a popular tourist area is partially underwater. Flash floods continue to threaten people. Hurricane Helene carved a path of destruction from Florida to Virginia, leaving dozens dead. Hundreds of roads are still closed, cutting off access, delaying recovery, and leaving many people like Mario Moraga in shock. There's no cell service here. There's no um, electricity. We're going to be out of electricity. The men uh, came out to our neighborhood. They said we're not going to have electricity for another two to three days. Across five states, many people don't have power, cell service. The situation so dire, on CBS Face the Nation, FEMA's director says they're turning to the heavens for help. And we're also moving in um, satellite communication, Starlink satellites into the area to help facilitate the lack of communication. The White House is ordering FEMA to get billions of dollars in federal support to the worst hit areas, especially North Carolina, where from the sky, the damage looks extraordinary. It really is amazing. You saw the photographs. It's stunning. Biden says he's planning to visit Helene impacted areas this week, so long as it doesn't disrupt recovery and rescue operations. This massive storm left many people without basic supplies like food, water, and fuel. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says flooding was the main cause of damage. This was a water storm. This really wasn't a wind storm. I've not seen nearly the wind damage that we've seen in other, other parts. In fact, I was just talking to a fella down the road. He had three, four feet of water in his house, but the tiki hut he had in the back was fine. FEMA Director Deanne Griswold says storms like this could be part of the new normal as our planet heats up. In the past, when we would look at damage from hurricanes, it was primarily wind damage with some water damage. But now we're seeing so much more water damage. And I think that is a result of the warm waters, which is a result of climate change. And New Yorkers are playing a role. The governor is sending helicopters, generators, and National Guard's troops to the affected areas to help with the recovery efforts. Duarte Geraldino, Fox 5 News.